Well, there have been some super exciting new releases lately, you guys, in the past few months. And I have acquired quite a few of them, especially during the Sephora VIB sale, the Spring Savings event. I got a few new, brand new releases as well, but I have some I bought before that, some niche brands, some designer. They are all fragrances that are creating quite the buzz. So I thought I would dedicate an entire video to these brand new releases that everyone's very excited about and want to know more about. So I can go into details in greater length. So if you wanna see what these brand new releases are and hear my thoughts about them, just keep on watching. my lovely people welcome back to another fabulous fragrance video in this video I have quite the number of super exciting brand new releases I am excited about all of them you guys but there are a few here that I'm just very 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 giddy about so here's one of them I'll put the other one, like actually there's one I, here that I already talked to you guys about in one of my videos, so I'll push that back a little bit. Did you know that Killian just released its very first, well at least very first in a very, 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 very long time, if not very first, this is the only one I've seen of this kind. So Killian just released its first solar fragrance. I am so excited about this one. This is none other than Killian Sun Kissed Goddess. Did you know about this release? No one's talking about it, you guys. I didn't hear anywhere about this. I didn't even, like, I didn't hear it on YouTube, Instagram, nowhere. This should be creating more buzz than some of those brands that work with influencers. Killian doesn't really work with influencers, but you guys, I talk to you and share with you fragrances whether I am in their affiliate for program or not, okay? A good fragrance is a good fragrance and you deserve to know. Killian, such a high quality, real niche fragrance house. This is actual niche, very much niche quality. No one talks about. I briefly shared this with you in my massive insane epic Sephora VIB sale part one video if you missed that please catch it it's the most epic haul I guarantee you no one is doing a haul like me I actually know this to be a fact so I can actually say that without fear I'm I probably am the one who does the biggest Sephora haul anywhere on YouTube that's a big statement Okay, so check it out right there. Part two is, um, well, uh, the picture's up here, but it'll be linked down in the description box. Part two is coming up this Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern time. I got the rest of my goodies, so I can't wait to share with you guys. It's just as big, if not bigger, than the first one, if you can believe it. Okay, so Killian Sun Kiss Gratis. Oh my gosh, I don't even need to spray it, but I will spray it for you. My husband is head over heels in love with this on me. Oh my God, this is the most bewitching, spellbinding, okay? Tropical, gorgeous, beachy fragrance ever. This is going to be my number one fragrance, I guarantee you. And it's gonna be the number one fragrance I bring on our summer vacation. My highly anticipated summer vacation, you guys. Oh my gosh. This, by the way, has an amazing sillage, great projection. My husband, when I sprayed it in one of the rooms, he walked in and he could smell it and he was like, oh my gosh, what is that? That is gorgeous. And he came and he smelled my skin. He was, he was spellbound, okay? It's just his type of fragrance that he loves on me. He loves these sort of 
beachy, bronze goddess, sun-kissed goddess kind of like tropical beachy fragrances on me, you know, especially if it has like, you know, notes like coconut and, you know, he likes a little bit of salty notes too on me, like that uh, Luby Mar by Christian Louboutin, like he loves that. He loves Fragrance du Bois ou de Jeune Intense, you know? He loves that sort of beach vacation type of fragrances. Quickly made its way up to the top of my Killian list, which by the way, right there, I have the biggest number of Killian fragrances and I'm a huge fan of Killian fragrances. That's the brand of which I have the most number of fragrances. Then a close second, is M. Mikulov, which I think is now neck and neck, but I love those two brands and they make the most gorgeous fragrances on earth, okay? So this one has a gorgeous tiari flower note, which I think I smell the most. That is the queen of this fragrance, which I am glad because tiari flower is one of the most spellbinding, drop dead tropical gorgeous goddess fragrance notes to ever have existed it's such a bewitching fragrance note you guys and then there's ylang ylang i think to a little bit there's coconut in here just right the right amount in the background coconut is not overpowering this is not creamy the coconut did not make it creamy the coconut is there giving it even more of a beachy, summery, tropical vibe. It's in no way a creamy fragrance, I would say. It's very much a floral, come to me, beautiful fragrance. There's a slight, tiny bit of sweetness that I can detect, just the right amount. This has got to be one of the most bewitching fragrances Killian ever made, you know, next to the big ones like Rose Oud, Love Don't Be Shy, Forbidden Games, all those gorgeous fragrances by this brand. Oh my gosh, this just, the moment I smell it, I, I imagine this drop dead gorgeous woman just bathed in the ocean and now she took a shower and she's coming out and walking down the beach and her hair is flowing in the wind and she's gorgeous and then I also picture her lying on the beach sunbathing you know like this bronze goddess sun kiss goddess this has good lasting power good projection amazing sillage it kind of will leave a huge sillage behind and I have not worn this outside yet, but I can 100% guarantee you that I'm going to get a ton of compliments because when my husband compliments me on a fragrance, I know that's going to be a compliment getter because it's always like that. You know, when he compliments me on a fragrance, I know immediately. The moment I wear that outside, I'm going to get a ton of compliments, especially because it does project, does last. I need to test it more. I've only worn it one day on my skin all day almost, almost all day. It lasted until I showered, but I need to test it more to see. I have a feeling that if I sprayed it on clothes, it'll last on clothes until I wash and even after I wash them. The next one I have here is by one of my favorite fragrance houses, niche fragrance houses in the world. It is Room 1015. You guys know how much in love I am with this fragrance house. I love Cherry Punk and Cherry Punk x -Crate. I love Sonic Flower. You guys know I love their fragrances. And they just made it beachy fragrance, which I know I'm going to bring on my summer vacation as well. I have tested this like one day. I just received it. Look at how gorgeous. Did I even show you the actual packaging? Sorry, you guys. I just took it out so it was um, in this packaging. This bottle is beautiful blue. Reminds me of the deep blue ocean. A blue sapphire, you know, like name it. Just so beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh. By the way, I got something to tell you about my husband with this fragrance too, by the way. 
he's crazy about it. Oh my goodness, you guys. I fell in love with this fragrance the moment I sprayed it on me when it arrived. It's not what I expected. Looking at the bottle, knowing what room 1015 is, it's not what I expected. It was a surprise. I imagined something differently good, like amazing, you know, kind of along the cherry punk lines, but this is not, this is, oh my gosh, you guys. There is something so, be to my husband is in love with this fragrance too. He like, is like, when <sighs> with both of these, okay, he is just in love with both of them. You guys, this fragrance has the most gorgeous opening, beautiful middle and beautiful dry down. Every step of the way, it's such a stunning fragrance. This has the most beautiful kind of juicy watermelon type of note in the opening. This has the, the most beautiful juicy burst of like watermelon type, beautiful, almost like a watermelon bubblegum almost, but also with a fresh watermelon as well. You know, somehow there's a sweetness to it and a burst of orange I can smell with it. That citrus burst, but very like sweet syrupy citrus not your bergamot type of sharp citrus, which I think complements that gorgeous watermelon note in the opening. There is a kind of a watermelon, what do you call that, Jolly Rancher type of thing. It's kind of like a juicy watermelon bursting, but also with a little bit of a Jolly Rancher kind of sweetness to it, if you can imagine it. And then, oh my gosh, it has this sort of beachy vibe, you guys. It, it almost like, I can hear the ocean, like when I smell this, like right in the middle, especially. I know it's probably in the dry down, but right as you spray it, after the first few seconds, you get this beachy vibe from it. You he almost hear the ocean. It's kind of like you're having a picnic in your bathing suits on the beach. You have this big bowl of fruits and you take a juicy ripe piece of watermelon, you bite into it and, and you also have like some candy around you that you're also eating. And you hear the ocean waves, you know, breaking. And that ocean marine vibe comes from the ambergris that's in here, you guys. You know, ambergris is this note that is derived from, I think now they make it synthetically, but it's, you know, originally a note that is uh, derived from the stomach content of the sperm whale. So you get the idea, it smells very kind of marine, ocean-like, and it has a woody nuance to it too. And this has a beautifully kind of creamy, juicy coconut note as well which I think really pairs well with that juicy fresh watermelon, juicy fresh orange, but then Jolly Ranch or candy-like bubblegummy watermelon that you smell also mixed with that ocean vibes with the ambergris, you guys. There's obviously vanilla in here too, whether it's noted or not. Slight sweetness, not overly so. Oh my gosh, you guys. That ocean vibe mixed with this slight sweetness with the the fruity watermelon burst that's what my husband loves on me he loves this type of beachy ocean-like scents that you know when it dries down you smell mostly that sweetness with a little slight almost salty vibe and you know from the ambergris somehow it smells like basically a sun-kissed goddess or bronze goddess lying on the beach eating watermelon and candy and now she's, you know, like ba been bathing, sunbathing for a while and now her skin smells so good naturally. You know that like good skin smell you get when you're on the beach, you guys, with the ocean breeze brushing you all the time, sweeping across your body. Oh my God, I could just, just keep sniffing my wrists. There's sun kiss goddess here and then there's this here. Oh my gosh, this one, by the way, is 
stronger than Sun Kiss Goddess. I was just smelling Sun Kiss Goddess is there, but it's not as strong. It lasts, like I said, it goes five, six hours up to eight hours, which is as long as I wore it, the only one day I wore it. I need to test it more to give you a better idea. There'll be another video I include that in. I'll tell you more about updates of my use, my wear. But I can tell you this one, the Room 1015 Wave Child is very strong and it's it leaves a really nice sillage, projects well and lasts, I would say, longer than Sun Kiss Goddess. And my gosh, that sweet, salty, marine, oceany dry down with that sweetness with the slight candy vibe. Ah, to die for. This is very much, I would say, a fragrance that leans feminine, although this bottle kind of gives you the idea of kind of like a masculine, but it's definitely a unisex fragrance. I personally think it leans a little bit more feminine, but oh my gosh, you guys, this is an absolute summer must-have summer must have you must have this fragrance i'm telling you and this must have must have i would say almost all of these fragrances here are must have fragrances you guys in this video which is why i wanted to do a dedicated video to new releases oh my gosh i can't stop stop sniffing by the way i do have good news for you unlike killian i do have a discount code that you can use on the wave child to buy it directly from room 1015, you'll get free shipping. The discount code is, I think, AFF Clio 10. No, AFF underscore Clio 10. I don't know. It will be listed down in the description box under this screen that, you know, three dots and more, the word more, click on that. It'll unroll the description box. In there, you'll find the link, you know, to go to the website and the discount code. You can get new re releases at a discount anywhere else, but really the actual fragrance house website, um, and you won't get any more than that kind of 10% type discount. You guys, I have another super exciting brand new release that I'm very, very happy about. This is Raja Parfum's latest release. This is from the Essence line this is Elysium, you guys. This fragrance, wait till you see the bottle, you guys, is to die for, oh my gosh. Have you seen a bottle more gorgeous? Did you see the crystal cap? Look at how it's catching the light and that beautiful, beautiful rose and pink and blue ombre. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells just like what it looks, the bottle. Mm. This is just, you know, Raja Parfum is known for their very ethereal, very sophisticated, woman-like, very goddess-like type of fragrances that they make. You know, they make very, very, very much feminine. This is a feminine fragrance, by the way, that Automize is to die for. Very misty. Oh. Oh, 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 I picture a woman with lilacs and beautiful blue purple florals and some white florals in her hair, just walking with long hair. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so beautiful and very different from any other Raja Parfum fragrance I have. I have quite a few up there. You guys, I don't know why. My husband said the same thing. He thought it was very beautifully fresh, floral fresh, very ethereal, beautiful fairy-like fragrance, which is how, what he thought of it. It's definitely not your sexy, you know, raunchy kind of fragrance. It's very classy, ethereal, sophisticated, beautiful, pretty girl fragrance, pretty woman fragrance. Okay, I forgot to tell you what I was going to say. This, when I first smelled, for some reason, I thought of lilacs and hyacinth type of blue-purple florals, although I don't think they're listed in the composition. What you have are peony and violet, you guys, and violet is also such a gorgeous blue-purple 
floral that has the most sophisticated scent to it slight powderiness but it always adds that gorgeous sophistication to any floral fragrance but to me you guys right off the bat i was like lilacs and and hyacinth if you ever smell those there's a little bit of that especially in the opening and then you get that peony and you get the oh the rest of the gorgeous floral bouquet this is a floral fragrance through and through guys there is a bit of a juicy peach note in the opening which adds a nice juicy burst to that floral bouquet of course as usual like any other Raja Parfum fragrance in the opening you get some you know citrus load of musks which musks is a must musk is a must I always say and it just gives an edge in the in the dry down my gosh if you want to smell like a gorgeous fairy queen very classy sophisticated ethereal goddess this is the one for you this is just gonna make you smell like a I don't know angel from the heavens you guys it's absolutely gorgeous I am so thrilled about all of these new releases that I just recently acquired by the way I completely forgot to mention uh, you can get this one on Twisted Lily, you guys. I do have a discount code for this for you to use because Raja Parfum fragrances are super expensive. Oh my God, this one. Like, I mean, I am so excited to put this up with my gorgeous other crystal top Raja Parfum fragrances. You can get this on Twisted Lily with my discount code CLEO10. I will list and link all that information down in the description box, you guys. I would say this is a summer must-have too. And you guys, I already talked to you about this one. I'm not going to stay here very long. Um, this is another brand new, super exciting release from Sospiro. This is Maracino by Sospiro, the niche house. That is um, a sort of sister brand to Zerjoff look at this bottle is this bottle not to die for this is a velvet beautiful this bottle this color is what this fragrance smells like if you can understand it this is called maracino and that's what it is it smells like a gorgeous juicy juice dripping maracino cherry you just pulled out from the jar to put in your drink you guys that's what this fragrance smells like by the way, I have updates. Oh, I'm not going to spray this one because every drop is it's very, very precious. I have already used it down to here, you guys. How did I do that? I have been wearing... I'm so scared that I'm going to use this up too fast. I have been wearing this nonstop. In fact, it's my scent of the day. I went to work today wearing this. And I got a ton of compliments before I went to work several places I wore. I wore this to a couple of my appointments and I got immediate compliments upon my entrance, essentially at the front desk of these places immediately. This is a massive compliment getter. I have not worn this these yet, the three I just talked to you about. I tell you what, they are going to be super killer, massive compliment getters as well. I will guarantee you because my husband loves them complimented them my children complimented me i know when they do that the others are coming okay this one you guys is the most juice dripping maracino but i also smell a delicious crisp juicy red apple and i smell the other big strawberry juicy strawberry note that's in here and all the gorgeous juicy fruity notes that are in here that is just making this fragrance the most unique cherry fragrance on earth this is not your cough syrup smelling cherry fragrance this is not your dark cherry fragrance this does not smell like that synthetic cough syrup type of cherry fragrance that you get even from you know our most beloved tom ford lost cherry that smells has that sort of boozy kind of slight cough syrup vibe to it not obviously in a very sophisticated way but you know what I mean like that same you know this isn't like that this is a one of the rare rare summertime spring summertime cherry fragrances by the way you guys I was not sure about performance when I first talked about this fragrance but I have plenty of data now 
this will last on you all day I can smell it on my clothes on myself already which is why I didn't bother spraying this because it's the end of the day right now this will last forever and on this dress I actually wore this before wearing this fragrance and I can still smell it I could still smell it before I sprayed it today it'll stay on your clothes until you wash them perhaps afterwards too I'm yet to see that this lasts forever projects very well and will leave in amazing sillage this has some beautiful floral stooge there's jasmine heliotrope rose all this beautiful beautiful fragrances I think a little mimosa as well oh it has tonka bean slight bit of like slight vanillic vibe from tonka bean very sensual sandalwood musks and there's amber and vanilla as well um, there's slight amberiness you can actually smell very much on the dry down there's something in this fragrance you guys that sort of grabs onto your clothes so I would advise to spray on the inside of the clothes like this will last forever it grabs onto skin and clothes there's one or two notes in here that just won't like let go it'll grab on okay and it in a very good way must have spring summer fragrance I am already down to here and I just got it a couple of weeks ago if you can understand it oh I do have a discount code for this too you can get this on lucky scent I have a discount code with them Clio 10 as well I'll link and list all that down in the description box okay you guys here's another very highly anticipated fairly new release it's not like yesterday new release it's been a, like a, a couple a few weeks since this was released with vanilla sex this is of course Tom Ford's Vanille Fatale you guys I don't have or I didn't have the Vanille Fatale the original Vanille Fatale people say that this one does not smell exactly like the original Vanille Fatale this is obviously the new and improved bottle design this and the Vanilla Sex which I have back here um, here's Vanilla Sex these bottle designs you know they're new new bottle designs um, I love Vanilla Sex you guys know how I feel that about that this one however I didn't love you guys I didn't love so I should say this is the only new release on my table that I'm not completely in love with I, I wouldn't say that I hate it at all uh, I think it's a gorgeous fragrance it's beautiful but it's just not my cup of tea okay I'm actually gonna sp may I spray this on my skin a little bit because I can't get an accurate reading I don't know how people give you reviews without spraying it on themselves you guys like uh, out of the atomizer is a good uh, measure if you can smell it which I do but on the you know in the cap or in the air I don't know what that's about none of that give you an accurate reading the best reading is on the skin okay you guys I love it but not on me if, if that's the best way I can put it on someone else I would love this this is it doesn't suit my personality it's not the type of fragrance that makes me feel sexy like these ones that I just talked about make me feel like I just fell from the sky and I'm gorgeous I'm the m most beautiful best smelling woman on earth this doesn't quite this has a very 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 unisex vibe about it but I will say it is beautiful it is a little too woody for my taste okay it's a little too smoky a little too woody it has very much a deep vanilla resonance. Um, it has it has a very deep tonka bean vanilla resonoid type of like you know kind of resinous vanilla scent to it it's a little bit slightly almost dusty if that makes sense it's smoky and deep very smoky deep vanilla this is definitely a woody gourmand you know it's a gourmand fragrance or gourmand fragrance I smell the very deep vanilla a bit resinous it has like mahogany wood which is like one of the exotic woody notes among many other woody notes obviously in here but that mahogany is very like deep like type of wood 
and you can smell that and there's roasted barley in it which I think adds to the the slight smokiness that's in this fragrance I almost feel like there might be some sort of incense in here but not like frankincense type of like super noticeable deep incense but a slight incensey smokiness it is actually quite delicious once it dries down but at first like when I first sprayed it I will tell you also though well, very big fact about this fragrance this is a fragrance that is not gonna smell very good to a, to women's notes noses especially at all at first spray you cannot just spray it when it first arrives it smells very different very 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 different days after once you let it sit spray a little bit and let it macerate so I like it more now than I did that first day but it's still not my personality if that makes sense to you guys but it's a beautiful fragrance there are going to be women out there who love this type of deep vanilla I gotta say I am like torn about this I smell some beautiful beautiful florals in here I think they're supposed to be like some like frangipani or some kind of yellow floral in here and it's also supposed to have a tiny bit of like a tobacco maybe that's what the smokiness is about and supposed to have a leather cord as well but it's not very overpowering or or anything like that it's the vanilla you smell the most on the dry down with slight smokiness woodiness and slight hint of that luxurious leather accord from the suede but you guys I tell you though I'm torn about this I feel like I need to keep it longer and test it longer before I make up my mind, maybe wear it out a little bit, you know, before I decide. But I am thinking about keeping it only because it's such an iconic fragrance and it is, you know, in this new packaging and everything. Uh, maybe I can layer it. Maybe the smokiness wouldn't be too much, you know, once I layer it with another vanilla fragrance, maybe even this. I gotta test this more, okay? But right now is the time to grab it if you want it. The Sephora VIB sale is going on. You can get 20% off this, best time to get a Tom Ford fragrance, I tell you, because they are expensive. And then I have another brand new release here by Carolina Herrera. This is Good Girl Blush Elixir. You guys, I did haul this in my Sephora haul part one video, and I told you a little bit about it, but I didn't go into too much detail. Um, I obviously I have the original good girl blush this is the blush elixir let me spray it a little bit here I sort of told you in my oh, in my whole video what I love about this this has by the way the most juicy mandarin orange note in the opening you guys that I absolutely love and mixed with that beautiful ylang ylang note that is the addition to this fragrance I think that's making all the difference it's like good girl blush only juicy citrus burst and ylang ylang adding a bit of a summer beach tropical kind of vibe to the original good girl blush yeah it's the mandarin and that ylang ylang that's made this fragrance different from the original good girl blush uh, I think the original might have a little bit of ylang ylang too but in this one this is very very prominent I love the mandarin burst in the opening there might be other citruses too but that juicy mandarin super prominent in this one the peony is more strong in the original good girl blush I can tell you that much it, it goes more like pink floral direction whereas this goes yellow floral summertime kind of direction you know loads of vanilla it's beautiful i do prefer this to the original good girl blush although i love that one as well but that one's more peony whereas this one's like ylang ylang and juicy mandarin you know here is another brand new release that i already talked to you guys about this sold out like pretty quickly after it came out this is of course i didn't even tell you fleur strawberry letter you guys this one is like a big giant juicy strawberry and look 
at this bottle. I mean, come on. I love a good magnetic cap the bottle even in itself. I love this bottle. This was created by the same perfumer as um, the K. Ali's Juicy Apple, whatever that fragrance is. And this is kind of like along those same lines, very like juicy, kind of young, I wouldn't say juvenile, but like has a young kind of vibe, you know, like a young teenage kind of vibe, but a little bit more sophisticated than the, the Eden Juicy Apple by Kali. I would say uh, quite a bit more um, sophisticated. This is like a, a beautiful, juicy, big, juice dripping strawberry. Like if you put your nose into a, a strawberry, a, a freshly blended strawberry juice, that's what it smells like. It has like a, a juicy plum note too, I think you guys. The most interesting floral notes like poppy, which I think is a very good choice for this. You know how that poppy has that particular scent, you know, if you have the Scarlet Poppy by Jo Malone, you get the idea, you know. Uh, it has a little bit, I think, lily and other uh, florals that really complement poppy and that big juicy strawberry. I think they couldn't have done better with, with floral notes. Gabriella Chalaru is the perfumer who did the Eden Juicy Apple, same person. So this does have a very young uh, girl vibe, um, but a grown woman can definitely wear it. It's very playful, it's very sweet. There's literally sugar like in here in this fragrance. It's got a bit of an emberiness, so it's like a juicy strawberry, embery fragrance. Has a little bit of tonka bean and slight, um, or a slight sort of like musky sort of and also earthy vibe about it. Very, very juicy, very, very pretty juice dripping fragrance. Um, I absolutely love it. I've been keeping it in this box so I can include it in, in this new release video before I actually put it away. Have been wearing it, very playful, very cute. Um, cute is the word that my husband used for it as well. He likes it, but he thinks it's cute. And then I have another new release. This is by Juliet Has a Gun. Ju this is Juliet. So this is a supposed to be a light cherry fragrance. And I gotta tell you, I am very pleasantly surprised. I was expecting when I saw this bottle, I expected a very typical sort of dark cherry fragrance, which it is not. Okay, this one actually almost, to me, I, I, I've hauled this in my Sephora uh, haul video and I told you briefly about it uh, a little bit that it almost smells to me like a very fresh summertime cherry fragrance like Maraschino or Tom Ford Electric Cherry, not the Lost Cherry. Electric Cherry, which is light and juicy and sour cherry, like a a sour light cherry fragrance mixed with the uh, Lots for Sun from the same brand, but a little without like the super tropical vibe. You know what I mean? So it does not smell like your typical cherry fragrance at all, at all, at all, and in a very good way. The kicker is that the note this has, the cherry note this does have, is dark cherry, but it doesn't have that cough syrup synthetic dark cherry vibes, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? This has a big note of jasmine sambac absolute, which I think is what changes this fragrance's what would have been cherry cough vibe, you know, in a way and loads of tonka bean, which gives it a deeper vanilla um, scent to it. And it has other beautiful floral notes too. I think this florals in this fragrance really saved it from being a typical cherry fragrance. It's a kind of a bit of a fussy sweater type of dry down to it. No woodiness, not too much musks or anything like that. It's very very super unique, you guys. I smell the Sambac Jasmine very prominently and there are other floral notes, other white florals or yeah, like lily type floral in here that I'm smelling, whether it's listed or not. So you guys, that is it. Those are my brand new releases that I just added to my collection. I gotta say each of these fragrance 
blew my mind. Even the Tom Ford Vini Fatale, which I, which I don't think is my cup of tea, still it's such a stunning, mind-blowing fragrance, you guys. They are all high caliber fragrances. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you right, right here, these ones I am unable to live without right now. These ones right here, these are like my top four. I love the, um, the strawberry one too, but I tell you, and the Carolina Herrera and Juliet, but these are like my like ride or die right now this spring and summer you guys i would say these four are must 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 haves in your collection run out and grab them grab this one before the sephora sale ends and these three you can use um you know the, uh, discount codes i have discount codes um i would say i also really do like the carolina Herrera one too and the juliet Hasagan one as well. I would say this would be my close fifth. So these are like my top four, and this I love the most right after, and then the this one. I love like the Nif Fatale too, you guys, because it's such a high caliber, gorgeous composition. Just not my type of fragrance is the only thing. It is beautiful fragrance. And I like this as well, but I tell you though, these four, ride or die right now. I am not going to be able to put these down. I, I, the one I had the most, this one right here, I've been wearing to death. I've had this one longer than the other three, but these other three will be worn to death in the next many, many weeks to come um, all the way until summer is over. Check out down in the description box all the discount codes and the links and all that. I will list and link everything down in the description box. Please, guys, please let me know your thoughts on this new brand new releases do you have these what do you think are you planning to get them i really want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already ring the notification bell so you will never miss any of my videos and of course go on over to my other channel cleo lux life my makeup and beauty channel which by the way a Sephora try on haul is coming on that channel where I put all the new Sephora products that I bought from the sale to the test if you are interested in if you are somebody who subscribed to my channel because of my Sephora haul video and you want more content like that this is not exactly the channel for that it's gonna be Cleo Lux Life please go on over there and subscribe as well I'll put it down in the description box if you want to see more makeup content, head on over to that channel. I do post Sephora hauls on both channels. That's relevant to both channels, you know what I mean? This is mostly focused on fragrances and other, you know, beauty fashion stuff, whereas my other channel is purely makeup and um, reviews of makeup and other beauty products. So yes, head on over there, subscribe to that as well so you won't miss the videos coming up there. I will see you guys in my next video.